Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm finally done with Sir Vagabond in Japan. This is a huge project, so it's going to be hard for me to kind of show it to you. So I'm going to do my best, and then I encourage you to, um, you know, look at some of the other videos. I'm going to try to put some finished videos together, but if I try to show it to you right here on my desktop, I've got um, my camera holder, I've got a screen behind me and supplies, so I think it's just going to be too cluttered. So I am going to turn it on its side and show it to you. So this is the very top of the box, okay? And the box has a box inside, and then underneath this lid is where the actual album is stored. So I'm going to turn the whole thing on its side and try to hold it together for you so you can see what I've done. Okay, so there is what it looks like on its side. Okay, so I think we're going to have to come and look at the pictures to get the real gist of this. I've got some feet on there. This is what I would consider a pagoda style box. Now the way the lids work is I have these um, slight inserts and that's what keeps it in place. But of course it doesn't work when you turn it on its side. Okay, so there's our beautiful lid. Isn't that lovely? And then... And, and a little mini box in here for your secret goodies. Then the larger lid comes off and we can pull out the album. And I hope you guys enjoy this. It did, it was like actually doing two projects at once. Okay, so here is, so let me tell you the measurements. So the box, the outside box is eight by 10. And this is seven and a half by nine and a half by two and a half. So the actual pocket pages inside are seven by nine. Okay, there's our cover. This is um, the uh, die cuts, um, and I've used die cuts and chipboard in the album. This is um, uh, chipboard, which means it's adhesive back. This is chipboard. This was a piece of chipboard. These are die cuts. So I've kind of sprinkled them here and there. This is another um, chipboard piece, which is adhesive backed. I used the rice paper to cover the spine of the album, and I pulled that back in on the lid. The lid is also covered in the rice paper, and so is the mount here. Now this finial piece was just something I happened to have in my stash. If you don't have anything, the other thing you could do is make additional rectangle, rectangular or make the stack taller, and I talk about that. Here is a piece of chipboard. Okay, did a little color blocking here. This is all held closed with a magnet. Now there is a pocket here, but I did not um, do my inserts and mostly just because I'm anxious to get the project out. Um, there's enough paper to definitely do the edge that sticks out. It's probably not enough paper to cover the whole insert. Okay, and then in here we've got a nice big insert. On page two. Again, this is held together with a magnet. We've got the doors and a nice belly band with a large insert. It's black on the back side. Now, this is something I hadn't done before, and um, I laid it out because I wanted it to look like a Japanese screen opening up. And so that was kind of the thought process behind this design. There are two magnets holding it, it closed. So when you First tug on it, you have to put a little effort, but then it snaps into place when you're done, which is nice. Okay. Another large belly band with a large insert. Okay, a nice deep pocket. And then last but not least, page eight. And again, some color blocking done here, and I used um, decorative chomper, corner chomper on this. I thought it made it look nice. And then here we have uh, Lady Vagabond or Lady Japan. Um, and this is also from the chipboard. So it is adhesive backed. That is the album. Here is our lid and box. And then here is the large box that the album itself goes into. I'll try to squeeze everything into the picture, but I'm not sure I can. So that's it. So we've got these decorative feet. I put the lion's heads on the side. We've got our mini box that goes as part of the lid. And then our seven and a half by nine and a half album. I hope you guys enjoy this. I want to give you a warning up front. 
The lid is, um, I, although I think it's beautiful, it is very time consuming. So um, there's a video for it and it's two hours um, and it, it'll take you about two hours to complete it. I didn't do much offline, but there's some stuff that you don't have to sit and watch. You don't have to watch me uh, cover it in the rice paper, especially if you've worked with rice paper before. So there's a big chunk in the middle that's just that. So I'd love to hear your feedback on the project. Um, and if this is your cup of tea or if you're looking for something different, give us that feedback. You know, whenever I can, I try to work that in um, the suggestions in. Also, if you have any questions or if anything's not clear, please ask those questions on YouTube so that when I answer them, others will get the benefit of it. Thanks for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. As usual, in the description, you will see the material list followed by the cut list for this project. This project is all grouped together under a playlist called Sir Vagabond. So if you start there, um, all the videos will be in sequence to complete this project. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. See you soon. So good. Oh, so, so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, it's so soft. Looks so good. I, Thank I'm you for really being pleased. so beautiful. Really pleased. You are Yay. a unicorn. You graduated.